speaking. Excellent. Welcome, Lynn. All right. So as long as everybody can hear me and you can see the slide, that's that's really all you need to do. It's now, uh, hey there, Pradeep. Um, you just got to sit back, relax, ask questions as you have them. And, uh, you know, if, if you have any questions, you can also ask your counselor, Ray, Amber. Uh, they're both in the room as well, so so they, they are more than capable of helping you out, um, as well as myself, should you have any questions. But welcome again. Glad you could take some time out of your day to be here. Certainly is appreciated. Not going to waste any of your time. We'll get right to it, okay? So... Before we really start getting into the meat of the presentation, uh, discussing what what market you could be missing out on, and if you don't know what I'm talking about here yet, uh, we're we're talking about forex, right? Forex is a huge market, a huge opportunity that a lot of traders, I wouldn't even say they don't know about. They just feel they don't know enough about, and from what they hear out there in the general public. It, it, it creates a bad taste. You know, you almost just get a, a bad sense uh, or a bad feel for what the real opportunity in Forex is. And, and that's what I hope to open your eyes to over the course of the next, you know, hour or so that we have together. So on that note, a um, little bit about Pristine. Our founder and CEO, Greg Capra, very much involved with our grads. Um, aside from creating the method, being an author of various seminars and books on trading and investing, uh, the most important thing for me, guys, is that he's still an active coach to our grads to this very day. In fact, yesterday he had a coaching session with them, and that, that to me is very important, and, and I, I, I've got to believe it's important to you as well to know that this is not just something that, that Greg is kind of the face of. Um, it's something that he is very much involved with. Uh, he, he works with our grads to ensure their success. So I just wanted to make that point very clear. As far as myself, that's a picture of me. Let me get my laser pointer out so you can see here what, what we're talking about. But that's a picture of me uh, with, with my daughter. Eight-year train trader and investor. Before that, I graduated from college, college uh, Pace University's Lubin School of Business. And as you can probably tell based on my last name, I am related to Greg. I am his son. So I knew what the markets have to offer. I knew the opportunity, and I jumped headfirst right into it. You know, I started inundating myself with the information. I started getting getting um, my, that experience under my belt. And, you know, granted, I certainly had the advantage of, of learning under Greg and, and not making the same mistakes that he made. And on that note, um, I just want to take a quick moment to say that if you don't have any experience in trading, I don't care whether it's equities, Forex, really doesn't matter to me. If you don't have any experience, I would say that that's an advantage and not a disadvantage. You wouldn't believe how many traders come to us having the, you know, having experienced this education or that education and, and they have this bad habit or they're looking at this indicator that really doesn't work, but they don't know anything different. They have plenty of bad habits that they need to unlearn. And we're up for the challenge, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, if you don't have any experience, I, again, I don't look at that as a disadvantage. I, I actually look at it as an advantage. Right? Um, and, and like I said, I say that from experience because there, there was no real learning curve that I had to go through, or, or there was no additional learning curve that I needed to go through because I didn't have any bad habits to unlearn. Right? I was able to just start off looking at the markets in a pristine way. And, and I mean that in both a sense of pristine as, as a pristine trading uh, methodology, but also a pristine way in, in what the word actually means, 
pure, clear, and, and that's what this method is all about. All right, so since then, guys, I became a member of the research department, certified instructor, and um, for instructor for the Trading the Pristine Method course, Advanced Technical Strategies, Forex Trading Program, very much involved with um, the, 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 the business of Pristine and helping our traders grow. How long did it take to become consistently profitable? Um, you know, it was it was it was about six six months, seven months. It, it took a little bit of time, and part of that Sunkite was finding myself, right? And if you guys would allow me to take just a, a quick moment here to explain what I mean, when I learned under Greg, right? When I learned under Greg, he he was looking at at the time. Uh, one minute chart, two minute chart. I mean, at the time he was even trading the futures contracts and he was looking at tick charts, 50 tick charts, 100 tick charts, even th a 30 second chart. And that's that's kind of, you know, what I learned under. I, I was looking at those smaller time frames and that's what I started with. Over time, as I developed myself as a trader, I came to understand and accept the fact that that's not really my time frame. I'm a more patient person, and not to say that Greg isn't patient, but when it comes to trading, he he is able to look at those smaller time frames and analyze them very quickly and efficiently. Right? Whereas for me, not that I can't look at them, but I just found more comfort in looking at larger time frames. And so that that was a large part of the learning curve for me. Right? I had to figure out my own way. And that's what each and every one of you guys will have to do as well, is we're going to provide you all of the tools you need to be successful. But you will have to find your own way. And we will be there for you. We will be there to help you. You know, I'm in the grad room every day, and I've got traders that come in there, and, and we – we take the time to say, okay, well, you know, where where is it that you're struggling with? And sometimes it's that traders are looking at too small a time frame. You know, they they might say, oh, well, my primary time frame is a 15 minute chart, but they're entering off of a one or a two minute chart, which is fine. But then they're also managing from that time frame as well, right? So we help correct those mistakes, and that's like I said, all about finding yourself. I'm just reading up on some of these questions. <laughs> As I already alluded to before, guys, you each have your own pristine counselor, Ray, Amber. They're both in the room. They are um, one of the greatest resources that we can provide to you. You know, someone that can put you on the path that is right for your needs as a trader, right? I mean, look. Maybe Forex isn't right for you. Maybe you're better off trading equities, but maybe maybe Forex is right for you. Right? You're not sure. This webinar is going to help you to make that decision, but also your counselor can help you along the way as well and also help you throughout the process, not, not just um, on the front end, but also at, in your career as a trader. Right? This is a relationship that we're building together starting from today. And it's one that's going to be a long-lasting relationship. So like I said, if you have any questions, you can reach out to them. And before we really get into charts, just a, a quick disclaimer here, guys. It is possible to lose money. If you don't know that, I can assure you, you will lose money. There, there are going to be trades that don't work out. That's just fact. I mean, you cannot have 100% batting average it, it it can't happen no matter how good a method is it's it's not a hundred percent perfect and if anyone is telling you that they have a methodology that is foolproof so to speak run as fast as you can the other way so yes losses are part of it right but but in what in what business are losses not part of, of the game you know, any any uh, any business that you get into, 
losses are part of it, whether whether it's in a restaurant industry or, or what have you. Trading is no different, but you have to have the right education. Without the right education, the learning curve is going to be much larger, and you might not even know what mistakes you're making. You're going to be on this, this path to not knowing. You know, you're going to make these mistakes, but you're not going to know how to correct them, or it's going to take you longer to figure it out. So you have to have the right education no matter what you're doing. And what better place than pristine, right? What better place than pristine, which is proven over time? We've been doing this for over 20 years. Right? And absolutely, Sunkite, I agree, the right mindset as well. Right? But we've been doing this for over 20 years, which, which, which speaks to the value and the, and the quality of the method. Right? This is not a get-rich-quick type of program. This is not something that is is working today but who knows about tomorrow this is something that has lasted the test of time this is a timeless method that like any good education once you have can never be taken away from you and and to show you that point right here is a chart of the market the queues from um, early 90s right to, to mid mid 90s and as you can see very nice uptrend. I've got some uh, pristine opportunity circled. And the same opportunities that existed, you know, 10, 15, 20 plus years ago, they exist today. The same patterns. And there's something to be said about that. The same patterns that worked 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, and, and basically to the beginning of time when the rice traders started, right? This still works today. So having said all that, having laid the foundation of who Pristine is and what we're about, why trade Forex? What is Forex? Right? And by a quick show of hands, yes or no, how many people have been exposed to Forex? How, how many people have, have maybe looked at Forex seen a little bit about it no no yes no all right good so that, that i mean that that's good i mean i i applaud you guys those those of you who are saying no i applaud you for looking into something different you know for kind of going outside your comfort zone and seeing what it's about right bill you've traded excellent welcome right options free <laughs> um I right, looked into it, but no experience. Fine. Well, that, that's great. I'm glad to see that there there is a diversity here. Um, for those of you who haven't traded forex before or or looked at forex before, I, I truly hope that this will be, and I believe it will be, an eye-opening experience for you guys. Right. So let let's talk about why trade forex and what is it. Basically, what you're doing on the forex or foreign exchange exchange currencies market is trading one country's currency against another right one of the most common if not the most common forex pairs out there is the euro us dollar pair which basically means that you're trading the euro against the us dollar if you take a long position on this particular pair you are essentially saying that you believe the value of the euro is going to rise and the value of the dollar is going to fall. So in a sense, you're going long the euro and short the dollar. Does that make sense, guys? For, for, especially for those who, who are unsure or have not experienced Forex before. Right? Pretty, pretty straightforward, easy to understand. Nothing, right? Nothing too uh, complex about it. Right? Awesome. Now, the way in which a currency pair moves is on some levels different from equities, but, but at its basic core, not really different at all. Right? In Forex, we talk about movement in terms of pips, right? as opposed to you know, points, dollars, cents when, it's, when it comes to equities. So what is a pip worth? Right? A pip, again, being 
essentially the smallest incremental move that a currency pair can make. So what is a pip worth? And when when I go through these these two examples, when I'm talking about these examples, I'm talking about US dollar pairs, okay? So one standard lot, if you're trading one standard lot, one pip is the equivalent of $10. So if you get a 10 pip move in your favor, you've just made 100 bucks. If you get a 10 pip move against you, you've just potentially lost $100 if you close out that position for a loss. A mini lot, which a lot of traders are trading, are, are mini lots. And of course, you can trade multiple standard lots. You can trade two, three, four, I mean, as many as you want. And the same goes for um, the mini lots. You can trade multiple mini lots as well. And a mini lot is equal to $1 per pip. A pip stands for price interest point. That, that's what PIP stands for. And it's not really that big a deal that, that you necessarily know it. I mean, I get, you know, you want to know what it means, and, and that is what it means. But in terms of making money, it's, it's not necessarily a major, uh, you know, worry in a sense. Right? So the mini lots are one, or, or one, one PIP per contract or per mini lot that you have is $1. So using that same example that I just used, if you get a 10 pip move in your favor on a mini lot, that's a $10, $10 uh, profit or a $10 loss, depending on if it was in your favor or not. Right? Now, if you were trading too many lots, it would be 20 bucks. Right? A 10 pip move would be 20 bucks for you or against you. Clear? Everybody good? Makes sense? All right. All right. So I mean, it's very it's very straightforward and, and quite easy to understand. I mean, if you make if you, if you get a move that goes 100 pips and you have one mini lot, you made 100 bucks. If you have a one standard lot and you get a 100 pip move, you just made a thousand bucks, right? Pretty, you know, and this is again for U.S. dollar pairs, pretty straightforward, you know, simple, simple understandings here. Now, as far as liquidity goes, right? What are some of the advantages? Now, now that you have a very basic understanding of forex and and how the currency pairs are, are the symbols work, you know, what is it that you're actually trading and how does it actually move? What are some of the advantages to trading Forex? And I'm sure you guys know some of them already, but liquidity is second to none. I mean, honestly, nothing comes close. Exactly, Pinnikin. Nothing comes close to the liquidity that you see in the Forex market. To show you that point, right, I put together a little, a little chart here for you. Let's look at the amount of money or, or daily transactions that take place across the board. In the U.S. stock market, $191 billion in daily transactions take place. In the futures market, you're talking $437 billion in daily transactions. Again, this is a tremendous amount of money, don't get me wrong. But does anyone, and if you know the answer, don't say it, but does anyone know how much the Forex market does in, in daily transactions? Does anybody have any ideas? And like I said, if you know it, don't say it. <laughs> there you go, exactly. Four trillion, right? Four trillion dollars in daily transactions. So as I said, this is, I mean, second to none. You want to get in at any time of day or night, no problem, especially if it's on one of the more, more liquid, you know, highly traded pairs. 
You want to get into Euro US dollar at two in the morning? Fine. You want to get in at, at midnight Eastern time? Fine. No problem. You hit it on a market order and you'll get filled. I mean, there, there are no issues in terms of getting in or out where you want. Of course, having said that, you don't necessarily want to be looking to uh, get into a position right ahead of a news event or, or right as a news event comes out because that, that is just a bad idea in the first place. Same as it's, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to trade a, a, an earnings play just because you think it's going to go higher. Right? You don't, you don't want to just say, oh, you know, I think this FOMC announcement is going to be positive, so let me take a, a, a long position. Or when the announcement comes out, you just try and buy uh, with a market order. You're probably not going to get filled where you want. The same is true in Forex. So you do want to be aware of the news, but aside from that, you will get filled where you want, when you want, no matter what time of day. So extremely liquid. And as, as Marek said, it's a 24-hour market as well. So there's not necessarily always an ample amount of opportunity, but there's generally always something going on. Whether it be something moving or something setting up to move, there's generally always some kind of, of, of opportunity um, either underway or coming. And that's because it is a 24-hour market. Here you can see the breakdown of the different sessions. You've got the London session getting going around 2 in the morning until about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock when it, when it shuts down. And then you've got the New York overlap with London starting around 8 o'clock when, when the pre-market trading gets going and then you know, until 12 o'clock when, um, when things start to slow down from the European session. But today, as an example, was a bit different. I mean, there, there was a pretty good amount of volatility throughout the entire New York session when you're talking the Euro-US dollar pair. Um, so, like I said, there's always opportunity. When the New York market slows down, you've got the Sydney session getting underway. Aussie dollar starts to pick up in some of its movement. You've got the Tokyo session overlapping Sydney. And then we start back up once again with the London session. So it's a constant flow of markets opening and closing. And, and you just kind of follow that shift. You go from trading the euro, US dollar, and British pound pairs towards maybe as, as things start to slow down on those pairs, maybe shifting focus to the Aussie dollar, the New Zealand dollar, and then looking at the yen pairs, things like that. Uh, there's, like I said, tremendous amounts of opportunity and the fact that it's a 24-hour market makes for more seamless price action does ever does anyone know what I mean by that if you've been to one of my prior webinars I'm sure you do but when I say more seamless price action what do you think I mean by that And it has to do with the fact that it's a 24-hour market. There you go. There are no gaps exactly. Right? Now, there can be gaps from time to time. Uh, you know, if there's a major news event that comes out, you might, you might see a gap. Um, but overall, the majority of the time, yes, it is a smooth price flow. And you will see that in the examples that, that we look at. And, and to illustrate the point another way, guys, my primary time frame that I look to take trades from are, are the hourly and the four-hour time frames, right? A lot of the trades that I'm going to show you today are off of the four-hour chart. Now, you might say, well, whoa, that's a huge time frame. But because, there's a, because you have a 24-hour market, because there are no gaps, you get very smooth movement from one day to the next. The trends in Forex are, are beautiful. When they, when they exist, I mean, there's nothing better. And it's not to say they're always trending, but there's always opportunity. Now, a lot of people, whether it be Forex or, or, or equities, whatever, 
they'll tell you that in order to be successful, you need to use MACD, uh, trend lines, RSIs, fib retracements, Elliott wave, Bollinger bands, you know, all of these these things. Honestly, you don't. You do not really need these. What you really need is an understanding of price because the bottom line is that price or, or these, these indicators are all following price. So price is the only truth in trading. When I, when I say that, what I mean is you cannot manipulate price. You can change time frames, sure, but you cannot manipulate the message. Whereas with a MACD or, or a FIB retracement, etc., those things can be manipulated. You can change the settings on, on your MACD or your RSI to give you the desired results that you want. You can use different pivot levels to draw your FIB retracements so that you can easily point out, hey, there's a support level or a resistance level. So that's what I mean when I say price is the only truth. It cannot be manipulated or, or you cannot make it give you the signals you want. Right? That, that's, that's just you know kind of bullying something into telling you what you want it to. That's, and that's no way to trade. That's a subjective way of trading. You're, you're basically looking at a mirage. You're looking at something that isn't truly there and, and trying to make a decision based on it because it's what you, you want to see, because it confirms your prior belief. And that's a huge trap that traders fall into. So, I mean, the question is, just to further explain and illustrate the point, is look at this chart and tell me, what can you possibly do with that? How can you really make a confident decision. Now, some traders would say, how can you go wrong? With all this information, how can you go wrong? <laughs> yeah, right? Right, Sunkite? Well, I mean, how can't you go wrong? There, there's an endless number of ways that you can go wrong looking at this. You know, and, and what happens if you don't have all of these things in agreement? What do you do then? The bottom line is all you need to do is look at the chart. And, and, and when I say chart, I mean the pattern, price. Right? That's all that matters. Price, multiple time frames, moving averages, support and resistance, understanding of trends, and more. Right? But th this is what matters. And on top of this, having a support system in place, which Pristine provides, Right? A support system meaning a system uh, that, that's going to put you in the best possible position for success, supporting you along the way, making sure that you don't fall too far off the, 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 the path, helping you to know and recognize when you're making mistakes and how to correct them as quickly as possible. So this is the kind of chart you want to be looking at. And believe it or not, guys, this is the same chart that we were just looking at, right? With all those indicators, you know, thrown on there. It's the same exact chart, but this this is clean. This is pristine. You can see what you should be doing and you will have a higher degree of confidence in doing it. Right? Now, is there anyone that thinks the prior chart is better than this? If so, then then what I'm going to continue to say and discuss here really isn't for you. I mean, I, I just don't want to waste anybody's time, but if you look at that, that prior chart, and I'll show you again, right? If you're going to look at this and say that this is what you need in order to make decisions, you're not going to find it at Pristine, plain and simple. Right. <laughs> this is what we're about. It's price. This is what matters because it's the reflection 
of human emotions, which, like I said, cannot be manipulated. Okay, so let's look at some examples. I'm going to show you different moves, um, some of which I've taken, some of which I'm just showing you the examples for. Right? Here's a daily chart. And again, we are going to be looking at larger time frames because honestly, that's, that's where the money is going to be made in Forex, is on the larger time frames. Trading off of a 5-minute or a 15-minute, you have to be uh, very quick off of a 5-minute or a 15-minute. You have to be uh, very quick to take your profits. You can get clipped very easily in the volatility. But when you move out to the larger time frames, things are cleaned up in such a beautiful way that you can make a great amount of money with, I don't want to say little effort, but you don't have to sit in front of the screen all the time. You don't have to be sitting in front of the screen minute by minute trying to manage something. Like I said to you before, I'm looking at a four-hour chart. You know, Every four hours, I look at the charts. Is there a pattern to do or not? If there is, right? If there is something to do, I take the trade. If not, I go about my day, I do whatever I want to do, and then in the next four hours, I come back and I say, okay, are there now opportunities? And what about the opportunities that I have entered? Do I need to do anything more with these? It's a much more relaxed way it allows you to live your life in a different way so I mean if, if you enjoy sitting in front of the screen uh, minute by minute and, and having to manage a position I'm not saying you can't do it in Forex but you're less likely to be successful if you want to be able to have more time to do other things you enjoy while at the same time making good money great money even then then this is the right place and if anybody's wondering the the moving averages that I'm using, um, they're they're eight, the eight and the twenty one. I don't have it on on this chart, but eight and twenty one exponential moving averages um, are, are what I I like to use with forex, which is a little different than what we use in, in equities. But I have found that with forex, those are the two moving averages that that um, I like. I, I find that they they flow very well with price. So here's US dollar, Canadian dollar. You can see the trend is down, price is moving lower, here's a sideways pause, and then you get this breakdown. Now I'm not going to go into all the details of why you would be looking to short this breakdown over here, but not at an earlier point in time. But there were some subtle nuances taking place, such as the uh, the, the breakout failing or the move above these highs failing to follow through, among others. So you short the breakdown, and here you get a 167 pip move in, what, two in two weeks? Maybe a little less than that. So on one standard lot, you're looking at over $1,500. And while that may not be a tremendous amount of money, look at how easy it was. Look at how painless the move down was. I will hold things overnight, Sunkite, yes. Right? And, and if you were to get into our prop program, our Forex prop program, which is different from the equity side, uh, you can hold overnight as well. Right? You can hold overnight. But again, it's, it's such a clean, fluid, no pain move. And... Look, maybe you're not going to start out trading one standard lot. Maybe you're going to start off small and trade one mini lot. So in other words, if you were trading one mini lot, you're looking at a $167 move. Not life-changing money, but look, you got to start somewhere. If you want to be able to get a $1,500 move, a $2,000 move, $3,000 or more, you have to start small. If you don't think that's the truth, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you can ask anybody that's been through it. If you don't start small, you are inevitably going to probably have a period of time where you make good money, but then it's quickly going to turn around against you. 
And then you're going to have bad habits. You're going to try and hold on to the position thinking, oh, it's going to come back. And, and you're going to create some really nasty demons that, that will be difficult to overcome over the course of your career. So I promise you, it is better to start small and work your way up than try and just start big and then have to reinvent yourself. So like I said, while, while $167 may not be life-changing, it's about the process. If you, if you were risking, you know, 50 bucks to make 160 bucks, would you do it? I think so. And that's the point. Here's another example, pound US dollar. Once again, you can see downtrend in place. You're waiting for the break lower. Here it is, breakdown. Here you get over a 400 pip move. On, on one standard lot, that's over $4,000. And again, this is what, one, two, three, four, in about a week's time. So, so this is in one week's time, you're getting over $4,000. Once again, let's just say it was one mini lot. So instead of 4,000, it's 400. Look, not life-changing money, I get it. But for some, that's a significant amount. And if you could start there and understand this is what you're working towards, the possibilities are, are limitless. They're endless. And, that, and that's, that's what this is all about. It, it's not so much about the money, right, as much as it is about the process. Understanding that if you're trading one mini lot, it's over a $400 move in a short period of time, relatively speaking, and very painless. How hard do you have to work? You know, every day, just bring your trail stop down bar by bar. <laughs> you get to live your life, do whatever else you want to do. Maybe you have another job that you have to be committed to. This is the perfect solution. Whether you're trading off the four-hour chart or if you're going to be more of on the daily chart, it's the perfect synergy between wanting to trade but not necessarily having the time to do it as, as an equity trader and then having your commitment to your other job. It's, it's the perfect synergy and the best of both worlds. Now, how many of you guys heard what happened with the Swiss franc? It's kind of old news now, but not really. I mean, it, it happened in um, the beginning of the year. But if you didn't hear what happened, I mean, it was, it was huge news as far as Forex is concerned. And it's also the reason that FXCM, which I'm sure if you guys have checked out the equity chart of FXCM, you'll see what happened to it. But it's because of what happened with the Swiss franc that FXCM had to be bailed out. And it's why brokers like Alpari went bankrupt. What happened was, you know, the Swiss franc was a currency that was basically, it, it was pegged. It, it, it didn't change, right? It, it, was, it, was, it was a stabilized kind of pegged currency. Um, and, and so when they removed it, when the Swiss decided that they were going to remove that uh, restriction, if you will, for lack of a better word or term, all hell broke loose. And things just got, as you can see, crushed. It got absolutely crushed. And many traders were just caught deer in the headlights. And I'm not saying that you could have captured this move down necessarily. I mean, this was very fast and very reactionary. Uh, but look at what happened afterwards. Here is a pristine opportunity. Over here is another pristine opportunity. And then, you know what happened after the dust settled? Does anybody want to take a guess? And maybe some of you guys already know just from looking. But does anybody want to take a guess as to what probably happened after the news came out? Anybody want to guess as to where we went from here? Yeah. <laughs> 
exactly right back up right look boom right back up so and, and again if if you if you're not objective right if you're not objective if you don't have an objective approach to trading you would have been caught deer in the headlights again watching it move all the way back up instead of being able to capture this rise maybe not in its entirety but during the move up there were plenty of opportunities to get on board at least get a piece of it as opposed to looking like this guy over here scratching your head wondering what to do and guys let me ask you something else if you were using subjective tools macd rsi fib retracements would they have been of any value to you here would, would they have given you signals that followed through yes or no no right definitely not they would have been giving you signals to do actually the opposite exactly they would not have been helpful euro us dollar right here's the euro us dollar and this this is a chart from from a little while ago i will show you another one more recent actually from today um but here here's euro us dollar on the daily chart again beautiful trend to the downside i mean plenty of opportunities and look yes this is the daily chart but there would have been beautiful opportunity in this move down in this entire trend down there would have been an ample amount of hourly and four hour setups to just pick off the move down pick your spots get in get out get paid if if you're not one that wants to hold overnight fine or if you don't want to hold for a multi-day move okay you can find opportunities elsewhere but here you know you're looking at a 250 pip move now the stop was 70 pips in other words if you're trading one standard lot you're risking seven hundred dollars to make twenty five hundred does that does that sound good guys I mean is that something you'd be willing to do Does, does the reward to risk in that regard make sense? And I'm not saying you're necessarily going to be looking to risk $700. But what if you were just trading one mini lot? right? What if, what if you were doing one mini lot? Now you're talking, okay, are you willing to risk $70 to make $250? Bucks? Would you be willing to do that? I've got to believe so. Right, so there, there you have it. Right, and it's in alignment with the trend. It's in the direction of the trend. Here is the Euro US dollar from today. Right? Here's the Euro US dollar from today. Well, not not just today. I mean, it is in part today, but it, this is a four-hour chart, and it goes back to the beginning of April, as you can see based on the dates. And here you have a double top retest and failure. We break down into a downtrend. Look at all of these opportunities to have played short. Plenty of opportunity. In fact, you can see, I mean, this these lines that are on the chart, this is actually a trade that I have open right now. Um, you can see where I entered. You can see the stop loss. You can see the take profit level. This is on the platform that you would get if you opened a prop account if you enrolled in the prop program with us this is the platform that you would be on mt4 and uh, so like i said you can see right there you know, entry stop take profit levels and we'll see how that trade works out so far it's you know it's up a little bit can you guys see now this is the this is the new zealand dollar us dollar can you guys see obviously this breakout but more specifically would you be willing to trade it would you be willing to take this long yes or no
Sure, right? Why not? Now, let me ask you something. Is this or does this look any different than, than an equity chart? No, right? So there, there's no difference. You, if, I, if I took away the price, right, if you didn't see the price or anything or the symbol, you would have no idea that this is, this is a 4X pair. And that's the point. There is no real difference. The transition from equities to Forex is seamless. I mean, take it from me. If anyone knows, I know. So as you guys said, yes, you would play this long. It's a nice breakout. It's got room to move higher. And if so, hey, congratulations. Right? It took a little bit of time, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, the time of day, things slowed down a little bit. But hey, in a few hours' time, you get a 60-pip move. So what does that mean? Well, it means that on one mini lot, you made 60 bucks, which, again, you know, not a tremendous amount of money, certainly not life changing. But in a few hours time, if you're look, if you're only trading one mini lot, then that's that's just where you are in your career as a Forex trader. But if you can see the if you can see further down the road and realize that when you start trading a standard lot, that 60 pip move is going to put 600 bucks in your pocket. For a relatively easy management, right? There, wa there wasn't much to do. You set your target and then walk away. They don't always go immediately. But with the right approach, with the right bias, looking at the right time frames, you you can be right more often than you're wrong but how do you do it well it's got to be done the right way and the pristine way you have to consider multiple time frames trends support and resistance an understanding and use of subjective tools in other words if you're going to use fibonacci retracements you have to understand what their limitations are and how you can combine it in an objective way so that it is amplifying your analysis, so that it is helping you to make better decisions, so that you are understanding where and when other traders may take action and when it's in alignment with your thoughts. You also need to understand price patterns and intermarket analysis. You know, what, what, what is gold doing and how might that impact the currency market what about oil and and what is oil going to do to impact certain pairs such as the Canadian dollar right these things need to be considered as well <clears throat> now I'm not going to sit here and tell you as I said earlier that not that every trade is going to work I, I in fact I will do just the opposite and promise you that not every trade will work but are you going to be prepared? Will you be ready to objectively analyze what's happening if and when a pattern doesn't work? Right? Just because a pattern gets stopped out doesn't mean that you were necessarily wrong. Maybe you, your timing was off a bit, but your overall analysis is still correct. And a perfect example is this right here. Right. Here, this first PBS or pristine buy setup failed. But as you can see, this particular pair did ultimately work its way higher. So it's not always that just because you get stopped out, you're wrong. You, you have to know whether or not you, you're going to need to get back in. Maybe maybe it just needed more time. Maybe the larger time frame wasn't set up exactly the way that it should have been, but the, tr the pattern, the trend overall, it was still good. We'll provide you the tools to objectively monitor the trend and know the key levels of support and resistance. Right? We talk about that extensively in the Forex course. Because as you can see, the second opportunity came into this very unique area, and it ended up working out beautifully. 
You know, yeah, it took a little bit of time over here, but that's to be expected. And that's another thing we talk about is what to expect from your positions once you're in them. Not every trade should just immediately trigger and take off. And if that's your expectation, you're probably going to find yourself getting out of trades that eventually work out the way you expect it. So we talk about how to have expectations that are in alignment with the actual chart and what it is suggesting. And there's another opportunity I have circled over here, which once again, results in profit. Euro US dollar on the four hour chart. Big move down, bottoms out. This, this is what we call a transition, right? We teach this as a transition. Price moves up, pull back, you enter it long here, you manage it on up into resistance. Here on this four hour chart, a 91 pip move on what was a 17 pip stop. So if you were risking $500, you would have made almost three grand. You would have made just over $2,700. If you were risking 50 bucks, you would have made just over $270. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And again, this, this is a four hour chart. So look, you don't have to be sitting in front of the screen watching this minute by minute, hour by hour. You could be living your life, letting this go to work for you. Let it go to work for you. Live your life. Spend time with friends and family. Do other things that you enjoy while this position is making you money. And if it ends up stopping you out, then whatever. It's one trade. It's 50 bucks or 500 bucks. But the potential to make $270, $2,700. I mean, it's, it's a more relaxed way of trading. Here is an example of a trade that I took um, recently, relatively recently. You can see the entry, you can see that this is not the take profit, this red line here, this is just a trail stop. <clears throat> and at the time I took the, the screenshot of this, you're looking at what was up 81 pips on a 20 pip stop. In other words, if you're risking $20 on one mini lot, you're up about 80 bucks, right? two to one. The red, the red moving average is the 21 exponential moving average. If you're trading one standard lot, you're up 800 bucks on a $200 risk. I mean, the money to be made is here. The opportunity exists. It's a question of whether or not you can get excited about it, right? If you can overcome some of the, the myths or misunderstandings that exist out there about Forex. Here's another trade on Euro Yen. Again, a four-hour chart. Guys, can, can you see this breakdown clearly? I mean, is, is this a breakdown that, that makes sense? I mean, in other words... Is this a trade that you couldn't see doing yourself? I'm not, I'm not doing something abstract here, right? Of course not. I mean, it makes sense. Right? We can all see the opportunity here. Right? So as, as long as you're looking at the chart, as long as you can see it, right? because obviously if you're not looking at the chart, then you can't beat yourself up for missing it. But if you're looking at this and you see the opportunity, here you have it, 110 pip move. Now look at this, in eight hours, in eight hours, you get over a hundred pip move on a 20 pip stop, right? Five times your risk, whatever size you were trading, whether it be a standard lot, a mini lot, whatever, five times what you were risking in eight hours. Easy, no pain move. Here's another one, Aussie JPY. Now th this this is a trade that um, 
that that was pretty new. I mean, I, I did this presentation last time I did this presentation. I mean, I was just showing, look, you know, these are the moves. And and look, this isn't the only move. Obviously, you could have shorted this move up here. You could have shorted the breakdown over here. There were other opportunities along the way down to have made money. But I was just showing, look, here's one that I entered short. You can see the take profit level down here. And I, you know, I can tell you in a, in a moment, let me just look back and see. I'll tell you what happened with it. Yep, I, 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 because I'm not showing the live screen share, I can't show you, but I actually had to hold this one overnight, but it did, it did go to target. Right? It did go to target. So another another nice move. And here's one from today. Right? Here's one from today. You can't see the um, the entry and the take profit levels because by the time I actually captured the chart, it had already hit target, so I I was already out. But here you can see you can see the timestamp. You know, trade taken today. You can see the entry. You can see the take profit. Got in over here, right? I actually, I actually got in a little early. I had to sit through a little bit of pain on this one, right? I entered it <clears throat> on this move down, and it it moved up deeper into this resistance, and then gave another opportunity here, and then boom, right? Right down into target. Make your money. Thank you very much, and you're on to the next opportunity. And again, this this was. This was just today, you know. I mean, it was it was over a a period of time, but this was from today on the U.S. dollar, Swiss franc. So hopefully, at this point, guys, you can see the potential in the forex market. Things are moving. There is opportunity consistently in the forex market. Things are moving. There is opportunity consistently, consistently. Right. Um, no, I never. I didn't. I didn't exit. No. Right. I. I was given it the room because I believed in that this was the right area of resistance, and so I never did get taken out that first time. I did. That was just. I. I got in here, sat through this move, and and then it it ended up working for me. Now there are some misconceptions out there. There there are some some reasons that you may have been a little concerned about getting into forex. You know, you may have heard some things. So I just want to take a little bit of time here, guys, and address some of those to maybe help ease your mind more than what I hope I've already done in regards to forex. Um, uh, Basil, to answer that question, I honestly don't know. I've never looked at those types of candles before, so so I really can't speak to why people look at them o over candles. Um, I just know what works for me, right? And and I haven't had any issues. <clears throat> right. Some people think that forex is like a, a get rich quick scheme you know they, they think they're going to come to forex make a ton of money right off the bat and that's just not true i mean leverage wise can can you get a tremendous amount of leverage yes absolutely and for that reason there there's this idea that you can get rich very quickly and i'm not saying that you can't but you can also <laughs> become broke very quickly if you're going to use all that leverage without any real education without any real training so forex is not a get rich quick market i mean it's like anything else you're going to trade time dedication education it, it all that that's what it takes that's what you need another one is forex is just for short term traders in fact it's quite the opposite as i've shown you I focus on the longer term trends and that's 
That's what works. That's what trends. The shorter time frames are very volatile and can be very whippy. So I, I don't know where this, this misconception, this myth comes from, but it does exist. And it couldn't be further from the truth. FX is, is not for short-term traders. Um, I, I think it's more suited towards those who want to be on larger time frames. People think the market's rigged. I mean, honestly, if you get stopped out enough, anyone starts thinking that it's rigged. That, that's just a self-sabotaging type of thought. It, it's not rigged any more or less than any other market. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know the key levels of support and resistance. And if you do, then the odds are in your favor. And if you do get stopped out, then maybe the environment is changing. It's not that the market's rigged. It's not that people are trying to run your stops. It's just that that's the way it goes sometimes. But the market is not rigged. There's no one that's out to get you personally. Do stop outs happen? Of course. But it's not rigged. Th this one, I mean, <laughs> again, you can be right every time. I, I think that that comes, comes from a lot of, in my opinion, nonsense types of marketing strategies that, that try and say, oh, this, this is foolproof, 100% accuracy, this and that. You, you're not going to be right every time. It's not, it's not possible. You shouldn't even, I mean, yeah, you want to be right as much as you can, but there, the, we know that the, the statistic odds of that happening are low. You, you cannot be right every time. And as I said at the beginning of this presentation, if somebody tells you that they are right every time, just walk the other way. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Good luck with that. It's easy to make money trading news. I don't suggest you trade the news. Volatility spikes at times, and you can make money trading the news, but you can also lose a tremendous amount of money making the news. There are no odds when trading the news. You're simply taking your best guess as to how you think the market will react to this news event and that is a good way to get taken out of trading very quickly understand that there are an endless number of opportunities that take place from one day to the next you don't have to trade the news there's always another opportunity coming remember this guys capital your hard-earned money is limited opportunity is not don't feel that you need to trade the news or risk the bank on this one trade don't think that you know this is the one trade that's going to make or break you because there's another opportunity coming down the road it may not be in the next hour or two it may be the next day but there's another opportunity coming. You need to keep the capital on hand so that when that opportunity presents itself, you're ready. Another misconception is that the more trades and the more pairs you're looking at, the better it is. Well, that's not necessarily true. I mean, yeah, you can look at a, a plenty of pairs. I personally look at, what do I have here, about 20 or so different pairs and I'm not trading them all all the time I'm j I'm looking at them and looking to see if there's any opportunity I'll tell you what the majority of them I'm not trading all at the same time I'm usually only trading a handful of them when they're set up right but I do watch them to see when things begin to change when those opportunities begin to show themselves right? so it's it's not necessarily about the number of trades that you're placing. It's about the quality of trade that you're placing.
predicting the market is how to make money. No. Right? Using your, your technical analysis and your understanding of human emotion. Right? Don't, you're not, and, and what we're doing here is, is not predicting, right? We're taking the weight of the evidence and basing an educated decision on it. We're not just saying, oh, hey, the euro US dollar is trending down. I think it's going to move higher now. We're not trying to predict anything. We're using our ability to read the charts, to understand human emotion, and give ourselves an edge. Understanding support and resistance areas, understanding trend, the things I spoke to earlier. Right? So don't think that what I've been talking about here today is predicting what's going to happen. Predicting is using your own beliefs, your own biases as to what you would like to see happen. That's not what we're doing. We're using an objective method to make educated and informed decisions. Some people think that Forex is more, is, is more complex and that the more complex the strategy, the better. I would argue to the contrary. As I showed you before, having that real pretty looking chart while there's you know, some beautiful colors on it is not the way to make money in my opinion. I believe, we at Pristine believe, the simpler it is, the better it is. Money management means placing a stop, and that's it, right? That, that, that's what some traders think, right? The, the extent of money management that you need to be worried about is just simply having a stop in place. No. Money management goes beyond that. Money management is about having targets, having expectations, knowing how to manage a profitable position, right? Yeah, you should always have a stop, but that's not where it ends, right? That's, in a sense, only the beginning. So you have to have money management rules in place more than just where you're going to have your stop. And finally, success in other markets does not equal success in Forex. If you can be successful trading something else, especially with the pristine method, you can be successful in Forex. And in fact, I would also go so far as to say that if you are struggling in equities, you can still be successful in Forex because it is a more focused area of expertise. You don't have to scan hundreds of stocks. Like I said before, I literally have maybe just over 20 different pairs that I can look at across all my, all my screens. I don't have to go about scanning. I have a more relaxed approach. I literally, guys, can look from left to right across my screens and see everything I need to see. I don't have to change my charts. So again, if you are struggling in equities, Forex might be the best path. It might be where you find your niche, your comfort. It might be the best thing you ever did for yourself. And so on that note, guys, here's the agenda for the, the two days uh, of, of the Forex education. Right? If, if you want to see it, here it is. And if you want to get a closer look, you can also email your counselor. They can get you the table of contents. But <clears throat> day one is made up of the basic Forex concepts abbreviations, correlations, market characteristics, things like that. You know, what tools for the chart are we going to use? How are we going to look at and analyze trends? What patterns are we going to look for once we've established a bias and a trend? Right? That makes up day one. Day two, we talk about support and resistance. We talk about multiple time frames 
how to manage the trade and also how to manage the money in the account and trading discipline. Um, we we use forex.com, um, which is which is basically under the umbrella of Gain Capital, which by the way, Gain Capital was uh, unharmed, unscathed by the Swiss franc debacle. So traders that that are with us under our prop program were were fine, unhurt, nobody was was having any issues unlike a lot of other forex traders um, that were with say fxcm alpari etc so you know as i said guys if you want that table of contents you can also email your counselor you can you know give them a call if you have questions if you want to get that that table of contents you can get it from them no problem as far as the course it's a two-day course from 9 to 4, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You get an electronic manual sent to you, which is yours to keep. And you will have email access to yours truly. I will be there to help you if you have questions. If you want to send me an email and say, hey, Kurt, can you look at this trade and tell me what I didn't see? I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Plus, you're going to get lifetime retakes of the course. You're going to get lifetime coaching. Like I said before, having that support system to know that you're being taken care of, that you're not just getting an education and, and being left on your own to, to find your own path. Right? You know, after you graduate from college, you have to find a job. You have to you know, <laughs> find your own way through whatever it is you, you went to school for. With Pristine, after you take the course, it's it's only the beginning of the relationship, right? We're going to look to help you along the way. Make sure you're staying on the right path and that you're not falling off the horse. You get lifetime access to the graduate room with me, right? trading with our preferred prop firm if you decide to enroll in the prop program, right? and you get generous payouts as well. Right now, we are offering a 25% discount. <clears throat> so contact your counselor. If you have any questions, they're you know, happy to help, as I said. Um, and also, that the course, as Amber said earlier, is coming up in two weeks. Um, what, was, what was the date there again? The date is the 25th and 26th. So um, I'd love to have you guys join. I'd love the opportunity and the privilege to help tr teach you uh, how to trade Forex and, 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 you know, make a living at it. So if you guys have any questions, happy to stick around. If not, I do thank you for your time. Um, you know, it, it's always appreciated when you guys take time out of your day. I, I know time is the most valuable commodity we have, so for you guys to spend just over an hour here with me today is, is um, you know, it, it, it's much appreciated. So, uh, like I said, if you have any questions, happy to stick around. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. It's been my pleasure, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk soon. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right, well, if no questions then, take care, and uh, I will leave you with this final thought. Right? Stay confident, stay disciplined, and stay consistent.